Both sides could have taken the lead in the opening three minutes. First, Martin Allen shot narrowly wide for Portsmouth. And then at the other end, Paul Holmes looked certain to open the scoring for West Brom. But Alan Knight somehow blocked his shot. But Pompey's defenders were nowhere when West Brom took the lead in the 20th minute. Bob Taylor's measured pass released Richard Snakers. And the Dutch striker's finishing was top class. Portsmouth almost equalised on the half hour. Dion Burton created the chance and Sammy Igo, Pompey's man of the match, saw his shot cleared off the line by Shane Nicholson. And then Lee Russell saw his chip rebound off the bar before being tipped over by Stuart Naylor. But Portsmouth were on the receiving end in the second half. Knight again performed wonders to save from Ian Hamilton. And when he was beaten, Igo, the smallest player on the field, headed Paul Raven's effort off the line. But 11 minutes from time, West Brom made the game safe. Once again, Taylor and Snakers combining, and another superbly taken goal from the striker. Burton might have grabbed a consolation goal near the end, but unlike Snakers, the finish wasn't there.